Hello and welcome. Hey, this is a project inspired by my lovely sister Kelly Black. Um, you may know her on YouTube. She has lots of videos and she's also the witch in the Gypsy and the Witch on Facebook. And she's been doing all these really great uh, junk drawer uh, projects. Now, the picture frame with the picture came from my friend, my neighbor. She didn't want it, you know, so I thought uh, she gave it to me and said, you know, if you want it, here, do something with it. So I thought, well, I'm not going to let it go to waste. And, you know, with the idea of doing a junk drawer kind of project, I was thinking, well, I have all these tiles left over. I'm going to use it and do a tile uh, like a junk tile project and use up all well not all but lots of my tile that I have hanging around for years so this is how that came about so I hope you enjoy Okay, you can see the picture in the frame. Uh, I've got some tiles out and some odds and ends that I'm showing you here that I plan to incorporate in here. It's just a, a picture that a friend of mine gave me and I'm going to just start putting gesso and uh, as a first coat and then I am going to put these little pieces and glue them down onto this piece and usually what I do is I will usually when I use my tiles I usually put them on a uh, canvas and then frame it but this I'm taking from Callie because Callie usually she'll go get a frame and she'll do it right on the glass her creation so that's what I'm going to attempt to do with this and I'm just going to use up all my tile that I've made in the past that, you know, I just have hanging around. And uh, it's just like some of this stuff is like seven years old, some of these tiles. So they need to have need something done. So I got this picture from my friend and I thought um, she didn't want it. She did. I just like the frame. So I thought, well, I'll do something with it. And then um, got inspired from Callie, my sister Callie, to just do it right on. So I'm going to start actually with gesso and then uh, I'm going to put some acrylic pro and then glue it down on top of that. But right now I'm just going through my pieces just to kind of see, you know, get an idea. And if you have a junk drawer, Callie does it with the junk drawer. So you can do that too. But this is kind of my junk drawers of tile and craft stuff that I haven't used in like come on seven years it's five years seven years it's time to do something with them before I start making new ones so if I can clean this out and get use some of my tiles in creations and get that then I'll be inspired I think to make more so just kind of going through I have them all in these little plastic containers and some of them I was just making extra when I was doing the tiles. Some of them came out mm, not so good. Uh, maybe they're a little crooked or maybe the colors didn't come out the way I like so it never used it or they just could be just extras. So um, I think this is fun and if you have anything like this hanging around, you know, put something together. Get an old frame from somewhere and makes and this already has the, the little hook on the back so I can just when I'm done hang it right up I mean how easy is that it's so cool okay so I've cleaned it and I am going to, I'm showing you the acrylic pro but I actually start with gesso I put gesso down first and then I put the acrylic pro you can put it the acrylic pro straight on there it doesn't really matter um, I just I don't know why I chose to do gesso first it really you don't have to uh, just put the acrylic pro down get that down this way your tiles or whatever you're going to glue down really sticks and I use well bond glue and I've always used well bond glue to put my tiles down and not had any problem so I'm going to do a nice layer of this acrylic pro and kind of um, try to get it as even as I can well not that all my pieces will be even that I put down but I'm going to try to make it as flat as I can and try not to get it on the frame itself and then just wipe it if you do get it on the frame.
Okay, so we're going to take the Acrylic Pro and I put mine in this jar because it was getting kind of funny. And being that I live here in such humidity, and those things don't really seal back well, I don't care. I had that thing on tight and it was still starting to get some mold in there, so threw it out. Took out the part that wasn't moldy and put it in this glass jar and then uh, watch, washed everything with bleach, uh, the spatulas and everything, just to make sure, because I don't want any mold forming. But this is going to dry anyway, and this will just help adhere anything that you put down. So when you're still going to use glue, but it'll help the glue and it keeps things keeps things on <laughs> you can get that in um, gosh I think I got that acrylic pro in um, Home Depot it's pretty inexpensive and it'll last you my goodness that container I had has to be seven years old so it's you know unless you're doing a lot of this then you really, it's going to last you a while. And that was the smallest container, it was like a quart that I could find at the time. They may have it smaller online, but, so I'm just going to, and you can go back and forth and make like um, the little grooves, like if you were doing tile work, if you ever seen the guys do tile work, they always go back and forth this way and up and down to make make the tile stay secure oops oops that actually took some of the gesso off there a little bit too rough on that do it gently and I don't want really I don't really want too much in the way of texture. I pretty much want this to be as even as I can get it. So, so I'm kind of scraping it. Oops had some black paint on it and I guess it's coming off. Let's get that cleaned off there. Hmm. Yeah, this one had some black paint on it. I thought I cleaned it all off, but I guess not. So, let's let's try this one. Okay. And if you have like um, a credit card, I'm sure that that works good too. You can go over it like that. You have an old credit card. And then if you get any on your frame, 
Make sure you wipe it off. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and forth over this to try to make it smooth it out. And if you want to get it in the corners, then just kind of take a little spatula or palette knife or brush or whatever and kind of see if you can get it in there. Now what I usually do is when I do framed tile work, I usually do it on a canvas and then put the frame on. So this is different. I've never tiled right on the glass of a frame or over a picture like this or you know anything. This idea was totally from Cali. crevices. You definitely can paint over this for the background once it's dry if you think you're going to have any spacing that's going to show but I don't want to put anything on it. I don't want to put any acrylic because it'll be too slick. I want to keep it rough so this way the glue, the tile will all stay adhered and I am not going to leave any background showing through. I'm going to make sure that I put beads or something in their paint to kind of seal it so you won't see any of the background. Okay, so I think I'm kind of, oops, there's a little bit thin, too thin here. Try to kind of make it even. Just even so this way you don't have too much up and down. Even though all the things that you put on are probably going to be all different sizes anyway. But Okay, so let's I'm gonna let that dry. I'm just let it dry. I'm not gonna blow it dry or anything. I'm just gonna let it really dry and then and then start adding what I want to add in there. In the meantime I'm going to go around and clean my edges and you can do that with a baby wipe if you want to do with something wet or a paper towel and just kind of clean your edges this way later if you want to paint over this or um, paint or glaze or stain or whatever you want to do with your frame it's nice and neat okay so there we go and I'm just gonna leave it like that like I said and let's let it dry and then I'll be back okay so this is I've got that's all dried and the um, what do you call it? The Acrylic Pro. And I'm just laying out, I just took out all my, well not all, but some of my extra tiles that I want to use. So this is like cleaning out your junk tiles. Maybe your tiles that didn't come out right or you know they're a little off or you just didn't like them. Um, you know some of these, you know some of these are, there's nothing wrong with them. You know I just didn't wind up using them because I may have made a couple of one thing and like the other one better. Um, I mean that's pretty with the little heart in there. So there's lots of these. Um, let's see. So 
So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is kind of put them all on. And it doesn't matter, you know, the color or whether, because I'm going to go over them. I'm going to kind of paint over them and do different things once I get everything down. And then you can start adding like little doodads. And this is like an earring, an old earring. Yeah, you can start putting all kinds of cool little things that you have, maybe left over from different projects. And, you know, hey, just use them and what the heck put them all together I mean I have all these like little gold leaves and that I used for a project and uh, I have little gears that are cool to use um, this was from something that looks like it broke little crystals I have silver leaves too. Little crosses from different icon things that I had made. So, yes, bits and pieces of things. And then I'm just going to. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these all glued on. You don't have to watch me glue these all on. The idea, you understand the idea of it. And once I get them all glued on, then we'll come back and then I'll figure out what kind of a, like a paint wash I want to do over them to kind of uh, blend everything together and make everything kind of a cohesive piece. So, um, I'll be back to do that and um, show you what I did, okay? Okay, so let's see. This is looking good. Um, it's a little bit golder than I can see the gold in the frame better like that. Um, I think it's turned out really pretty. Let's see if I can get it the light to come down a little bit more. And I think it's looking really nice. And I put some really cool things here. Now this is a this is actually a. Um, charm that I did I had made necklaces out of a lot of um, when I was playing around with uh, glass and soldering and all that I had made these and I thought well I'm gonna take that and so I'm trying to take little bits of everything that I have used in the past and kind of exploded in here so that's that and I painted these little tiles and these are actually the um, Scrabble pieces and I painted them black and I'm going to think I'm going to write gypsy on there I'm actually going to give this to myself for my birthday So and this I'm going to put a picture of um, I don't know yet I don't have a picture of my grandchildren all together So I can't do that and I can't pick out a couple of grandchildren and not have all of them So this will probably be either my husband and myself or just one of my uh, paintings I'll make small and then just stick it in there maybe one of my gypsies that I have painted so I think that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna figure out I want to do a color over this I don't know if I'm gonna do uh, black and then put some gold but I want to kinda get it all together kinda you know like make it all one uh, instead of all these different colors which look really pretty but um, I think I want to kind of blend the coloring together and then put some gold in and some silver and you know really play with it a lot so it's just turning out really beautiful you can see that I mean I've taken these are little um, caps little bottle caps and what I did with them I was going to actually use the this way because it has the R on it but what I did is I turned them upside down here too and I just put some beads in it and it looks so pretty and especially once I you know do a coat of something over it all and then here I'm thinking I have like a little ball crystal and I think I'm gonna stick it there to make it look like a little crystal ball and that was just that was a button a gear and then one of a, a little finding that I put on there and these are all little jewels and stuff that I use in my tile work and then this is just these are little things that friends of mine have given me 
uh, pieces of jewelry. Look at that little Indian girl there. Isn't that just beautiful? Just a little, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to have to go and do a closer um, shot so you guys can see all the little detail of everything. But um, this way you can get a little star, I mean, and all the beads in here. You know, all the seed beads that I put in. This is a little corner piece there. You can see that. I use that a lot in my tiles. And I just think it's cool. I'm going to still look for more things that I may want to put in it. And then I will come back when I'm ready to, you know, kind of paint over it. Okay, I just kind of zoom this in a little bit so you can see it better. Oops, this is kind of loose here. I don't know where I'm putting that yet, but you can see all the beads and kind of get this closer. Let's just see if I can move the camera a little bit. see that little beads in there and this this I don't know this was an earring or, or something I don't know I, a lot of this was just things that were just given to me so um, I don't know what they represent but, oh yeah I wanted to show you look at that little Indian girl I think it's a little Indian girl there down in there just kind of see if I can get it yeah, it's not really. I'm going to have to take a picture of it with my, it's right, ooh, there. You can see she has little feathers in her hair. So cool. And the butterflies and little hearts and stuff. So I'll come back when I add more. Okay, what I'm doing is I decided to take some paint. Uh, and this is, what is this called? Ugh. Hmm, I think this is Napa Red, and this is um, just the Americana, and I'm just putting a little bit of this in here. Um, this has got to come out, I'm going to put that in my last, and just to get a little bit more color on here, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to do it or not, so I may have to go in here with a darker color. And I just wanted to see if the purpley color would kind of work. Oh, some of these are loose, but that's okay. I thought, well, since my birthstone is... Um, amethyst you know so I love purple purpley color so I thought well and this is going to be for my birthday so well I'm gonna put a little bit more purple in it or whatever this Napa red kind of color and then just let this dry and then I may go over it with a brown or not a brown a um well a brownish but I was thinking maybe maybe more on a um, sienna, like a burnt sienna kind of color. Put that in there. You can see it's like oh, turning a little bit. But I don't really want it on her. Maybe a little bit to the frame. No, I'm going to go back in with gold again, but just to kind of, not too much of it, just a little hint of this.
Okay, so let's, let's, I'm going to dry that and then go back with a different color. Okay, hopefully you can see, um, I took some burnt sienna and darkened it. Oops, let me make sure this is on correctly. And I just watered down some burnt sienna. And I'm using, um, so far I'm using the Americana. Uh, both of these, the Americana uh, burnt sienna and the, actually the other one was red violet. So that's what I'm, the first one was red violet and then burnt sienna. So I'm just going over that. And I, what I did is I watered it down and just took a brush, this brush, and went over things. And now I'm just sopping up where I don't want a lot of puddling, you know, because I, I don't really want it to be puddled in spots. I wanted to just go over it and kind of blend everything together. And I also went around here with the burnt sienna to darken this a little bit because what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to bring gold back into it a lighter brighter gold so so that's what I'm up to right now I'm gonna let this dry and then I think I'm gonna go over with some black and uh, we'll see what happens okay you can see that I hit it again with that that uh, red violet I think that's what it was yeah and kind of made it look it looks like kind of a rainbow so I'm really liking it and I'll probably go over it again uh, maybe with the brown again maybe with the black so I'm just gonna keep coloring excuse me over it and just get get it to where I want it how I want it to look and then I'll start adding some gold have fun okay so now I'm using some blue I decided to put some blue on there um, before I put the black. So this is um, Artisan Blue and it's another one, oh I'm sorry Prussian Blue and that's another Americana. Very pretty blue, I've never used it before and I'm just you know kinda just going in there letting it fall in the grooves Same thing, I put some around the edge. What is that? You know, we're gypsies. We need to make things colorful and take take some chances with things, right? And just play. And if you don't like it, wipe it off. It's not any big thing, but at least try. And I do like that it landed in different, and it kind of changed the color of the palette on here. So you've got purple's coming through, you've got the browns coming through, and now some blue. And now I'm going to put, going to do the black, and um, I am going to use the Americana Black the Satin, black tie, and I'm going to do that. But first, you know, first let me blow dry this. I'm going to heat gun, hit this with a heat gun, so this way every, you know, all the colors will kind of move around will be layered properly and then anything that you want to stand out and you don't want to cover just wipe it off with a baby wipe you know like my jewels I don't want them to be covered I want them to glisten and shine and you know be themselves see like that you want to make sure you clean them so they stay nice and clear so they stand out if that's what you want you know and I do I want my my jewels to sparkle everything else I don't care it can be mushed in you know so yeah, I think we're getting there another coat and then another coat and then another coat <laughs> you know who says you have to stop just keep going yeah until you get what you want just have fun this is just fun these pieces of tile were just sitting there doing nothing for seven years so this is a lot better than just sitting in a plastic container Okay. 
Okay, I think I've got it now. I think that's dry. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the black. And um, get another cup. I love these little paper cups. I use them all the time. You can get them at the dollar store. Uh, get some of the glue out of the way. And make sure you shake, especially these um, multi-satin ones, the Americana. Make sure you shake your paints. You just need a little tiny bit, too. I mean, I put more in there than I should have, but you really, you're just going to really do like a wash over things. So definitely don't want to put heavy coats. Then you try and take that all off. and ugh. So I'm just going to go over... And then the same thing with the around the edges. I'm going to go over that too of the frame. And you can go back over with color. Nothing says that you have to keep the black on here so black. You can go over the black with color and pull more color into it. And now I'm going to just go through and just take off where I don't particularly want so much black. And just kind of, let's see. Well, anything, like I said, that you want to shine to keep shiny, just make sure that you go over it with your baby wipe and make sure you keep it shiny. I don't want her to have paint on her, but I'm definitely liking the black layer. You know, it's kind of, hey, you could put white. You could actually have put gesso all over this and really just change the complete look, but I wanted to keep some of the color from the tile. I didn't want to, and the texture from the tile, so I didn't want to go over it completely, but definitely you can do that. Put gesso over everything and you know kind of start from scratch but not what I was looking to do so there so let's let that dry or hit it with a heat gun I'll be right back okay I think you can see I added some more purple but the purple that I added because it it, everything dried so flat with the acrylic paint so I really didn't like that flat so it was either you know adding some pearl color you know there's paints that have pearl in it and I remembered I had this and this is kind of old it's um, it's Taylor Rowney and it's acrylic artist ink and it has a pearlized color and it's I'm trying to see what color it is but it's really nice. My granddaughter, actually, it's uh, Velvet Violet is what it is. And my granddaughter, um, Mackenzie, loves these because she loves to squirt them on the paper and then just let them flow. But I think it brought uh, a lot more shine to it. It was just so flat. So I was going to just go over it with just you know a pearl kind of coating I have a sealer and I believe it's from deco art Americana and it has pearl so I still may do that too but I thought well I'm gonna add a little bit more purple purplish this is violet to it I'm really and I I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I want to put the gold first before I do the <clears throat> the pearl I don't know so and I, I definitely want to do a lot of gold intense highlighting in here and so yeah so I'm liking this I like the shine a lot better than just that flat Ooh, it really wants to dry it I was like nah don't like it so that's a good if you have any pearly paint anything with pearl essence in it you know that's 
really the way to go. Um, you know, I don't have, uh, I may have black. I don't, I don't know. I have to look at my colors and see if I have some, some black. Okay, I added some of this. It's called Bell Bronze, this color. And it's, again, it's from that, um, what is it? Dela Ronnie, Ronnie. And um, it's very, if you can see it, this light is just like glaring at it. Very pearly. And I put some of that on, and then I actually put some gloss black on. Uh, 3D gloss black. I went over that. Uh, put some of that on there to keep it kind of shiny. I am going to shine it up a lot more, but um, I think I'm done with colors. So I think I'm going to start adding some gold to this. And um, you can see I, I went around the edges with the black too and kind of distressed that a little bit. And So now this way I can bring in the gold. And then also I have to glue that on, but I want to put a little picture in that. I don't know if I'm going to put this one on here and if I do I will darken that too with some color. So um, I will be back. I'm going to test out some different uh, sealers. I have a pearl one. I have a multi-purpose one. And then also I have the sprays. But um, well, I'm going to get the gold, and we'll do the gold next. So I'll be right back. If you could see the richness in the colors, and I added Inca Gold Metallic Rub to it, both the violet and the gold, and I also went over it with the gold, um, the iridescent golden gold. Did some of that on there. And then for the words, uh, I painted pull that down. Let's see if I can move the camera a little bit. You can see Gypsy up there. I used uh, the tiles from the Scrabble tiles. I painted them black and then I painted them with the golden uh, iridescent gold but I use little stick-on letters that come on a sheet and they're just like little foamy things and they work really well because I was going to write it and then I thought, eh, you know what, I'll just put the little stickers there. And it's not looking as gold as it really is. I'm going to take another picture. The light is just just really on it. I don't know if you can see it better now. It's really, this is really nice and gold uh, using the, you know, I love the golden. Look at my hands. I really made a mess out of myself. <laughs> So that's what I did, and let you know what? Let me get those little foamy things. I'll show you. They're really cute. They're little foamy letters and numbers, and you just you know they you could just paint them. They're just really foamy, and you just stick them on whatever. And I don't know where I got those. Probably Michaels. I've got them a while. Most of my stuff I have had a while. Um, and it's great to use all that stuff, you know, find things to use your, your journals or, you know, in this instance, just taking all my tiles that were just sitting around and just in boxes, just nothing. So now it turned into a beautiful piece and I am going to actually put a nice clear coat of varnish on it, uh, cause I want it a little bit more shinier and, um, then I'll be done, so I'll be back. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will put the link below to Callie Black's YouTube channel so you can go check out her videos on her junk drawer, beautiful creations. And then I will also put the link below to my video where I make clay tiles. If you're interested in learning how to make these clay tiles and doing something like this, you can make your clay tiles for the project. You don't have to use old ones, but you can make them and do a beautiful project like this also. So leave me comments. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm so glad you were here with me today. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Until the next time, bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to come and join us over at the Gypsy and the Witch. I'll put the link below.